vertebrates. Brilliant. And can you just explain where we are today and what we're going to be doing, hopefully? Right, today we're at uh, the Drayton Farm, uh, owned by the uh, Watercress Company, and it's the outflow from one of the watercress beds that we're going to assess today. Uh, and we're going to do that with a standard three minute kick sample. Okay, and during the kick sample, what are we expecting to see uh, and understand uh, in the process? We're going to um, be able to assess the, uh, the health of the, uh, the river from the uh, number and variety of invertebrates that we catch. And they, they're going to be uh, collected in a bucket and then they're going to be taken away and I'm going to process them, uh, uh, which involves sorting them out from uh, the de debris and counting them all. Yeah. So we would expect a, a couple of thousand uh, individual specimens of uh, about perhaps 20 to 30 um, uh, different species. Okay, and just to explain what we've got in terms of river ecology here, so we've got a, a mixture, uh, should we just sort of walk the river and just have a little look at the habitat that we've got? So it's very clean, it's just come off the watercress bed. As we've been walking down we've noticed a few trout, uh, obviously they'll be predating on some of the insects that we'll be looking at, the macroinvertebrates that we're going to be going through. What, you know, is that sort of, uh, is that, would that be expected? It's quite normal. Uh, it's normal for a nice chalk stream. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So the net is a standard D-frame uh, net. Mesh size of uh, one mil. Yep. And quite a deep bag. Mm -hmm. Flexible net. The net is placed downstream in the water, and the area of substrate, the substrate to be sampled um, is then disturbed with your foot to a depth of uh, at least 10 centimetres, so it's uh, quite a lot of effort involved in doing that. And the idea is that the invertebrates will be disturbed, uh, rise up into the water column and then be swept by the water current into the net itself. Mm. Once you've collected the, uh, the, the net full, it can go into a tray and be sorted there. Test for depth. <laughs> Yes, I think. Yeah. Leather jackets, So this is the first time we've done this location. This is right at the bottom of Watercrest Bed, so yeah. quite new territory for us just to see. What we'll do is once we've got the report back, we'll put it online. So that'll be available at watercrestcompany.co.uk. Okay. Okay. And uh, obviously that will give us a bit of an indication of where we are here. And then hopefully later on in the year we'll start to look at some other locations on the farms and, and try and understand what the variance of diversity is in different locations on Watercrest Farms. So that's fascinating. Thank you so much for, uh, for your time and, uh, and obviously talking to us today on camera. It's lovely. Uh, very welcome. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.